hello everyone in this session we will discuss about the next topic is the distributed winding so up to now we discussed about the short pitch winding but here this is about the distributed winding so to understand the distributed winding first look at one example and then we will understand the distributed winding so here the example is just take it uh, we should take a three phase two pole 18 slot alternator 18 slot alternator so we should consider like that so just look at here a three phase system is a two pole maybe i will consider this is the north pole and this is the south pole and 18 slot alternator means so north pole consisting of the nine slot south pole consisting of the nine slots look at here one two three four five six seven eight nine here this is also nine slots we have okay so for the purpose alternator we have so how many slots per pole generally slots per pole so here slots is 18 poles are 2 then we have the 9 slot and next slots per pole per face slots per pole per face so slots per pole already we have the 9 per face is 3 equal to 3 we have the 3 right and what is the slot angle here generally slot angle gamma equal to 180 by slots per pole slots per pole so 180 by slots per pole 9 so we have the 20 so slot angle gamma equal to 20 slot angle gamma equal 20 so every slot angle it consisting of the 20 this is the slot angle so here we should understand some terms just look at here and we can take another thing we have slots per pole per face so for each face we have to use the three slots that means for each face we have to use the three slots that means R phase having the three slots Y phase having the three slots B phase having the three slots then the total slots are become nine slots total slots are become nine slots just just look at here here just take it assume it this is the r phase r phase is r phase and it will cover again r phase in the south pole so r phase in the south pole then again r phase in the south pole right this is about r phase coil and what about y phase so i am taking this is the y phase this is the y phase and now it will cover will cover the y phase is like this this regarding y phase in the north pole and again this is the y phase in the south pole and this is about y phase in the south pole okay r phase coil is completed this is the r phase coil and this is the y phase coil that will cover in north pole slot as well as south pole slot then again uh, now we take the b phase for the b phase also b phase this is the b phase and it will cover the b phases like this then this is the b phase yes so we can take you can take it as r dash y dash b dash 
r dash y dash b dash so again so r phase is in the north pole this is the slot r phase in the south pole is this is the slot y phase in the north pole is this is the slot y phase in south pole this is the slot like that again you will get r phase is like y phase is like this r dash this is r dash this is y dash and again this is the b again r y b here also b dash is completed again r dash y dash b dash like that so these three phases just look at the r phase r phase consisting of the this is the r phase it consisting of the three slots again here y phase consisting of the three slots so here b phase consisting of the three slots so like that that means so distributed winding is nothing but each and every phase in three phase system equally distributing the slots equally distributing the slots this is about the first phase coil first coil okay this is called the distributed winding this is called the distributed winding distributed winding means in the three phase system in each and every phase taking the same number of holding the same number of slots so we should discuss some some points regarding this uh, those are first phase belt what is the meaning of the phase belt phase belt is the group of slots belongs to the each phase under each pole each phase under the each pole are phase group and the phase band these all are the similar words in other words phase belt phase group phase band so is a group of slots which belongs to the each phase under each pole so in that r having the three slots and y having the three slots and b having the three slots like that so here we can write the phase belt is generally r having the slots are it is the three generally we can represent it is m slots m is number of slots per pole per phase m is called number of slots per pole per phase so this is called the phase belt next phase spread phase spread the angle subtended by each phase belt so how much of angle it consisting of the each phase belt phase belt means r consisting of the north pole slots so then we will find out that so how can we find out here phase spread is generally three slots here mentioned and slot angle you know the slot angle slot angle is 20 degrees because it is a three phase 18 slot 18 three phase three phase 18 slots so that's why we will get the 20 so finally we will get the 60 degrees so we can write this is the m gamma so generally phase spread is represents with the m gamma m is the phase belt phase spread for example phase spread for the n phase mission n phase in order to find out the phase spread for the n phase mission is 180 by n phase spread for the single phase mission that is 180 by 1 that is you will get the 180 phase spread for the two phase mission that is 180 by 2 we will get the 90 degrees what about phase spread for the three phase machine 180 by 3 you will get the 60 degrees you will get the 60 degrees next here three phase machine 60 degrees phase spread is more common generally in three phase machine 60 degrees phase spread is more and more common next, next point 120 degrees phase spread is also rarely used to eliminate the triplet harmonics in the phase so sometimes generally 120 degrees phase spread also useful but it is very rarely the reason is then why we are using to eliminate the triplet harmonics triplet harmonics means 3 9 like that 3 9 12 3 9 12 
the harmonics are called triplet harmonics like that here but one to take this phase spread is generated emf and output power and kva all will be decreases so why we are using 120 degrees phase spread is very rare means by using that we have a lot of disadvantages those are generated emf decreases output is decreases kva rating also decreases that's why we are rarely preferred next one degree this phase spread is possible only with double layer winding generally 120 degrees phase spread is only used in double layer winding double layer winding yes but 60 degrees phase spread is possible with single layer as well as double layer but 120 degrees phase spread sorry 60 degrees is possible single layer as well as double layer in the two cases it is possible in the two cases it is possible okay so this is about the this is about distributed winding and distributed winding and some terms regarding the distributed winding phase belt or phase spread like that okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you